Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group, and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise and all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is Information Capture, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Capture and Manage Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll explore such indexing strategies as tuning and retuning, testing with scale in mind, standardizing procedures and vocabularies, and using software. Indexing involves identifying content and then applying meta tags or labels so it can be subsequently tracked and retrieved. As a process, it's always critical and it's generally time consuming. How critical is it? Imagine converting a warehouse full of contracts and indexing them simply as Contract 1, Contract 2, Contract 3, and so forth. The only way to retrieve any one in particular would be to know which number referred to the one you want. This is what indexing does, allowing you to associate real-world descriptors with particular pieces of content, and cross-referencing them using those labels with other pieces of related information, such as the parties to the contract, the date it was executed, etc. The quality of your search results, therefore, correlates directly with how good your index is in the same way that the old computing adage, garbage in, garbage out, spoke to the nature of database information. If your index is poor, you're not going to get good results when you search on it. So depending upon how accurate your content is when it's mined and classified, your index probably is going to require tuning by both a subject matter expert and an IT professional. The most successful implementations involve quite a bit of tuning, in fact, in which a subject matter expert will test a whole series of terms, look at the results, and work with IT to get more optimal results back. This effort sounds easy enough, but don't underestimate the amount of work it actually requires. Tuning an index both during the initial configuration and on an ongoing basis as new content is added isn't going to take care of itself, and the horsepower needed to rebuild an index after that new content is added is such that you may not want to do it in the middle of the day, lest the people needing to search start complaining about the performance hit they're taking. It's because of this load that you're probably best served by not designing and testing the indexing system based solely on a prototype or small sampling of content. A job that runs quickly and well when executed on 10 documents may fail catastrophically when targeting 100,000 every day. Do it to try out your basic process and vocabularies, but don't put too much stock in how smoothly it performs, unless it doesn't perform well, in which case you know you have to go back to the drawing board. And speaking of process and vocabulary, one of the basic indexing truths is that you really want to streamline how you do it to the greatest degree you can. Using standard procedures, forms, and controlled vocabularies right up front thus is critical, for it's the first step towards driving quality up and costs down, regardless of whether the indexing will be done automatically or manually. The best idea, of course, is to automate as much as possible. Even a simple approach that captures document-specific metadata, for example the author and title, can make indexing and thus retrieval not only more efficient, but also more reliable and consistent. If your IT infrastructure includes such databases of user details as LDAP or email, then it may further be possible to automate the lookup and entry of more information about the user, like his or her job title and department thus completing additional metadata entries automatically and appropriately. Now for those who don't know, LDAP is the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol and it's commonly used to access and maintain distributed directory information services over an Internet Protocol network. 
interoperating with it can make a lot of admin tasks easier. Experience shows that most users are unwilling to devote much time and effort to making metadata entries, though they do appreciate the benefits of a metadata-rich repository. The implication here is that an information system should automate the capture of metadata values as much as possible, including as many optional entries as is feasible. So a number of classes of software have arisen to help, as shown on this slide. At the bottom left is the Document Information panel available in the later versions of Microsoft Office. This may not automate the capture of index information, but it can at least put some of the proper fields in front of the user, and that's a good first step. Above that is just some of the technical metadata that's captured automatically by a digital camera. Note that this is just shown here as an example, not because it's good practice, or common practice even, to try to capture this much technical metadata unless the business requirement demands it. To the right of that are examples of some of the most effective alternatives around OCR, ICR, optical mark reading, barcoding, and forms processing, which are explored in the training module on capture but are included here because it's in indexing that they can make some of their most significant contributions. By plucking keywords and descriptors directly from the information itself, they can do a pretty good job of providing what you need to know. Finally, there is auto classification software, which offers a variation on this theme by suggesting values to associate with any sort of document. In this particular example, from Autonomy's Interwoven, the user can review, validate, modify, and add to the suggested values. The point of all this is to optimize the process of getting good descriptive information about your information into the system, so subsequent searches can bear efficient, effective fruit. To get you there, this module has explored such indexing strategies as tuning and retuning, testing with scale in mind, standardizing procedures and vocabularies, and using software. Having completed this module, you may next wish to review the module on planning and preparation. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctor test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.